All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Smitty back with another Minecraft tour video. Today, guys, I'm going to show you all how to get custom Minecraft Bedrock skins. This is on basically all the Bedrock consoles, PS4, Xbox One, PC, Mobile, not Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure if you can do it on Nintendo Switch, but for all those other consoles, I'll show you how to do it, so let's get right into it. As always, ask questions in the comments down below, and timestamps are in the description. Okay, so the first console we're going to be looking at is the PS4. So load up Minecraft on your PS4 just as you normally would. Now, there's actually no way to download custom skins from the internet on PS4 yet, but there is actually a glitch that allows you to get all the cosmetic items that usually cost money in this game for free. Basically, all you have to do is go right here, click edit character, and once you go in here, you can do this for all items that apply. Right now, I'm looking through the tops and all these things that usually cost money. Here's a little glitch you can do to get it for free. Basically, what you want to do is you want to hover over the piece of clothing that you want to buy. You want to select it really quickly, and then right as you select it, you want to spam circle, and you want to get out of it. Close it as quick as you can, and if you're lucky enough, you could actually get a glitch that'll work, and it'll actually equip the shirt onto your character. Again, this works with hats, pants, shirts, but again, you just got to click it and then spam circle as quickly as you can, and there is a chance that you can actually get it for free. Now, I've got to be honest when I say that this glitch is pretty hard to do. Sometimes it glitches out, it'll appear for a moment, then it'll disappear, and other times you'll just fail to do it. Also, for each piece of clothing, you have to do it separately so it can get kind of difficult and time-consuming. Furthermore, every single time you load up the game, the character will reset. You will lose all the things that you customly did, as this is obviously a bug. It's not intended. In terms of, like, getting banned or anything, I don't think you'll get banned for doing this. Do it at your own risk, though. You might. Who knows? But again, do it for all the pieces of clothing. The good parts are your friends can see these pieces of clothing as well as yourself, and they'll last the entire time while you're in the game, and they should not disappear. And if you mess up a part and you, like, pick the wrong shirt or something, go and equip the default shirt before you try to do the glitch again. But you'll know that the glitch is working well because you'll get this kind of lag when you try to close out. And just keep trying it over and over, guys. Again, press X on the piece of clothing that you want. Hats, whatever you want it to be. Press X on it, and then quickly spam circle as quickly as you can and close out all the way back to the game. And you might be able to equip that piece of clothing completely free. This is a bug. This is a glitch. It might get patched, but let's move on to the Xbox One where we have something that probably won't get patched. Okay, so here we are on the Xbox One, and before you do anything, there are two applications that you need to make sure you have downloaded. The first one is Microsoft Edge, which I believe comes with the Xbox One, and the other one is My Files Explorer. This one is going to be in the uh, marketplace. You have to go to the marketplace on the right side of your screen, type in My Files Explorer. This is usually a $3 app, but there is a, uh, I think it's like a, a free trial for like a month or something. So make sure you go to the marketplace marketplace type that in and download that so you should have your two applications then what you want to do is you want to go to the left side of your screen over here where it says my games and apps and you want to scroll down to apps and scroll over to the right to microsoft edge right here so first we're going to go to this website called mcpedl and then it should show up on the top mc pedal basically is what you want to call it and you just want to search that into the search bar on the top and then what will show up is this website right here and you simply just want to click on that and it'll open up mcpedal we'll call it.com so once you're here you want to look at the top of the screen at the skins and you want to click the drop down arrow right here and you want to quickly uh, pick skin packs and not click on the skins hit the drop down arrow and then hit skin packs and that'll actually take you to this big assortment of many different skin packs some of these hold like hundreds hundreds of skins it's really awesome and uh, honestly the one that i recommend the most is you go to right here where it says sort and you hit the most popular all time and you can actually find this youtuber skin pack just down a little bit and this one holds like 400 skins it's awesome and i'm gonna show you guys how to download this one and put it into your minecraft world so once you click on it it'll take you to this screen and this screen basically showcases all the skins it tells you so much about the pack it kind of tells you how to install it i'll tell you guys how to do that right now but if you need the uh, text form it'll tell you how to do it as you can see there's only hundreds of skins basically you want to scroll down a long ways until you get to down here where it says downloads and i see two different downloads here and the one you want is the zip file so click download zip and then it should begin and take you to this uh, part right here where it says do you want to continue you're leaving the website that's okay click the link down below and it will now redirect you to this website called linkvertise so there's kind of a lot of sketchy stuff on this website what you want to do is follow my directions it should load up and you want to scroll down right below the uh, right below the stuff here where it says free access if it doesn't say free access for you it could say like how to access free access you want to click the free button sometimes it'll show like some apps some, like articles or something that you have to read if it pops up with articles that you have to read like sit there for 15 seconds let it load and then just exit out of the articles and then it'll let you have free access like it showed right there kind of hard to explain if you're having problems with it let me know in the comments nevertheless you want to wait for it to hit uh, say free access and once it does you want to click it and it will take you to a media fire download screen and you want to click download right here towards the right over here and it will begin downloading all the skins to your xbox one and you'll see a little prompt on the bottom of your screen and you want to click save as and you want to save it to the download screen which it should automatically take you to there might not be anything here but make sure it says device and then downloads and save it to here 
And after that, you can completely close Edge. You're done using the internet. You now have to go over to My Files Explorer, which is the other app that we uh, downloaded earlier. So once you're in Edge, the first thing you want to do is, of course, hit Play Free Trial. You don't want to buy yet. And you want to go up to the top right over here where these three dots are. And you want to click Add Folder to Library. Now, once you do this, you just want to simply not pick anything on the screen right now. You want to click down on the bottom left over here. Click, go to this device, just like that. And then you want to just hit Select. Don't pick any of these folders. Just hit Select. And that'll make a brand new folder uh, on your little... Uh, overview right here called user manager whatever zero right there that folder so you want to open up your newly created folder open it up go to downloads and in downloads you will see the recently downloaded minecraft youtubers 3.1 zip file that you just downloaded from the internet what you want to do is you want to click on it with that three button thing on the controller and you should be able to hit copy file just like this then what you want to do is you want to go to the left side of your screen over here where it says isolated storage you want to click that on the top of your screen you should see packages and once you're inside of packages here you want to look for the uh, folder called microsoft minecraft uwp look around for it it's kind of hard to find but once you find it it should be there you want to open this folder up and then simply find local state you want to click local state go to games go to com.mojang and then in here you want to go to skin packs if you don't have a skin packs folder make a new folder call it skin underscore packs just like it was there and then what you want to do is click that button on your controller again those three buttons and you want to hit paste file and then you can paste the file into this spot right here again you can check the top of your screen right now to make sure you're in the same spot as me you can look you have local state games com.mojang skin packs you can check all that to make sure we're the same but nevertheless once you have this file copied into this folder what you want to do is you want to click on it again and you want it extract this will now extract that into a folder and after it'll take a little while it'll take maybe a couple minutes to extract all these files and then once that's done you'll have a folder and you'll have that original zip file and you can go ahead and delete that original zip file but keep the folder in there and then after that you are completely done using Using the a my files explorer you can then close out hit the home screen and of course quit it as usual and now we can load up minecraft for the final step to get this to work once you enter minecraft you actually don't want to leave the menu screen what you want to do is wait till you see the loading resource packs you want to let that finish and you want to stay on this screen and after that's done you want to make sure everything's loaded you want to go and sign out of your xbox account just like this once you sign out it'll actually restart minecraft and keep a note, you're going to have to do this every single time you start the app if you want to get the uh, if you want to get the skins to load in. Make sure you close out, and now you're in a different account, and you're, you're signed out. And once you're signed out, everything lo loads in again. You want to sit at the menu screen just like this, and you want to actually go and sign back in to your main account. Pick it from this uh, items right here. Pick whichever account you want to sign into just like this. And then again, it will uh, sync user data a little bit. It'll sign you back in. And this should be the final step to get the skins to activate. Okay, so you've signed out, you've signed back in. Then what you finally want to do is you can go into your edit character option right here from the menu screen. Click edit character. You want to go to the right one and you want to go to own skins. And right there you will see the uh, texture pack or the skin packs that you downloaded off the internet right here. If it's not working, uh, try it again. Try to sign out and sign back in. Leave a comment. If, it's, if it keeps not working, I'll try to help you out. But unless you should see all your skins here. Again, almost 500 skins of YouTubers, of custom skins, of like James Charles Cringe. There's so much stuff here, guys. Of course, I had to pick Mumbo Jumbo. Just showing you it works. Your friends will be able to see it. Everyone will be able to see it. But again, every time you load into Minecraft, you have to sign out and sign back in in order to get it to work. Have fun with this one, guys. And let's move on to the uh, to the PC. Okay, so here we are on the Windows 10 Bedrock Edition on my computer. This one's really simple. All you want to do, go on the internet, type in the skindex.com, just like this. Click on the website, and once you're here, you will see so many skins to choose from. There's so many options, but my favorite part is there's also a search bar. So if there's a skin you want, go ahead, search it up. Chances are somebody's made it before, and what you want to do is find the skin that you like. So I'm just going to be toxic right now. Let's look up this amazing, amazing YouTuber, not overrated at all, Dream, and I like this skin right here, so I'm going to click on it just like that. Don't click any ads. Don't download anything until you get to right here, and on the right side, you can see it says download, and if you want another way to get it, you can also look down below where it says get image link. You can click that link and then save it from there, but nevertheless, you just just want to click download on the right right here and then it'll give you a prompt it should show up on the bottom of the screen that is downloading once that's done downloading you just want to open it up you want to right click it and then you want to hit save as and i usually just save it to my desktop so just click desktop save it to your desktop and then you should see it uh it should save it to your desktop you should be able to see it right here as you see me clicking it right there that is the skin that you've downloaded and then you can simply go back into minecraft very easy open it up go to profile go to edit character go to owned and under owned go to import skins click it and then it, of course it'll let you pick a file hit choose new skin of course and then it'll let you pick a file go to your desktop and your skin will be right there it'll let you import it i usually go with the slim fit and yeah there you go you literally have your dream skin imported just like that it's so easy uh of course i don't like the skin the skin decks isn't the only website that you have to download them from you can find other places go ahead try a bunch of custom skins you can change them out in and out i just keep them all on my uh, desktop like that i switched another skin out keep downloading skins guys really cool custom i love this skin it was made by hero master an awesome viewer 
it's a great custom skin. Okay, so finally we've made it to the Pocket Edition. So I'm currently on my iPhone. Let's show you guys how to get custom skins on the Pocket Edition. So go to Safari and you want to type in the skin decks again. This is the same website we were on on the PC. It also works on the iPhone. Type in the skin decks. Again, you'll be shown all these epic custom skins. Of course, they have a search bar again. So you already know we're searching mumbo jumbo up and you want to find that skin that you like. Once you find the skin you like, all you want to do is you want to click on it. It should bring you to this place where you can see a 3D model of it. There's two ways to get it. You can go down to image link right here. You can, you can press image link and then hit add to photos. Or you can go up to where it says download right here. You want to click download and then you'll notice that it'll go to the top right of your phone right here. And then of course you can just click on that. Click this button right here and hit save to a save image or save to phone. Okay, so once you have all that done, you can actually go to your camera roll and notice that you do have the skin saved there. That's your ultimate goal. You want to get the skin saved to your camera roll just like this. You can notice that it's kind of a really low quality photo, but that's per perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Then what you want to do is you want to load back up Minecraft Pocket Edition. You want to go to edit your character. You want to go over to owned and then you want to go to import. And just like that, you can hit choose new skin and it'll pull up your camera roll. And this is why we want to have that skin on the camera roll because you can now pick whichever skin you want. And of course, you just click you click the mumbo jumbo skin we just downloaded. Pick which kind which kind you want. You want it wider, slimmer. There you go. Pick it and that's your custom skin built. Everyone can see it. You can import as many as you want right here. Just keep going. Have multiple pictures on your camera roll of skins. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. There's my custom skin again on Pocket Edition. It's so cool. Thank Thank you, Hero Master. Thank you all so much for watching. That's how to get it on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and mobile. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much, you guys. You're the best. And until the next one, enjoy your skins, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.